Okay, so now we have a talk on soliton steering by Mr. Govind Barajan. Take it away. Well, uh, I would like to thank the organizer for giving this opportunity to present my research work here. Uh, for this work, I have collaborated with my professor, uh, Professor M. Lakshmanan, who is a professor of finance and DHS Serbi Distinguished Fellow. Let me explain the plan of my talk. Uh, first of all, we will, uh, I will pinpoint why we focus on predictable timer and salt and steering. Uh, then I will be discussing both the theoretical model following with the uh, role of symmetry effect in different sort of fiber couplers. Uh, finally, I will conclude the remox. Uh, yeah, as we all know very well that the predictable divers have been obtained by engineering an equal amount of, uh, equal amount of gain and loss. Uh, and they exhibit some richer applications like power oscillations and uh, non-reciprocal wave transport, which can be obviously exploited for all optical level applications. Then what about the steering dynamics? which is a fundamental and inevitable application of fiber couplers uh, influenced by the so-called PD symmetry effect. So that's the object of our present study. Uh, for this study, we have considered two sort of fiber couplers, sorry, uh, where you can find that in type one, we read in the same uh, PD symmetry configuration. In type two, the PD symmetry configuration has been reversed. Apparently, these models look, uh, I mean, simple, but they exhibit some richer dynamics, which will be seen in the forthcoming slides. The bottom figure represents a schematic sketch of soliton steering, where we observe that the soliton pulses, which we would like to steer the, between the two adjacent waveguides, is injected in any one of the ports. And due to the evanescent coupling, these pulses is transferred at the output ports, as we observe. Uh, yes, mathematically, this model is governed by coupled and non schrodinger equations in the form. Here, the second and third terms are respectively group velocity dispersions and self-based modulations which are scaled to be one, and this guy is nothing but the defocusing linearity. The intercore coupling coefficient has been noted by the coupling parameter, and comma, which makes the system PT symmetric, is nothing but gain and loss parameter. Okay. In general, this system cannot be solved because they are non-integrable. Even we cannot use any methods like transfer matrix method. And we can also, we can also uh, apply the Lacrangian because, because these systems lie in between dissipative and conservative systems. So obviously one has to use the numerical methods. Here we use the pseudo-spectral methods and also we consider that the system work at unbroken PD symmetry because we know very well that uh, at singularity the light stops and at broken the Sultan process experience instability. So throughout the study we restrict that the system work at unbroken PD symmetry. So the initial conditions have been taken in the form and the normalized energy is being calculated with this formula. The two important parameters in, I mean, the transmission as well as the extension issue can be calculated using these I mean, relations. Yeah. Before going to our work, I have to stress that the, the first observation of PD symmetry transition has been observed in the same systems by using the lesser light without considering the linear and nonlinear effects. Now we are very, I mean, so interested that what about the role of PD symmetry on the steering dynamics? Now let us see. First, the, we study the role of PD symmetry. Uh, without considering the quintic nonlinearity. Uh, here and in forthcoming slides, the top panels correspond to conventional couplers, whereas the bottom panels correspond to the pt symmetric fiber couplers. As you may note that, as first notable effect, the critical power I mean, needed to share the salt amples between the two waveguides have been dramatically reduced from 3.61 to 1.32. And also you can observe that the oscillating curves, I mean, these are completely unwanted, has been completely removed by the pt symmetric effect. Moreover, the transmission efficiency is fairly increased from, note this note here, is almost 0 0.6, but in PD symmetry fiber couplers, it almost reaches to 1. Yes, uh, this, we also study the uh, effect of gain and loss parameter as a function of critical power. Uh, from this figure, one can clearly observe, I mean, observe that on increasing the value of gain and loss parameter, the critical power linearly decreases. In particular, if the gain and loss, uh, gain loss parameter approaches before the singularity. I mean, you know very well that if the term will lead to one, it will lead to singularity conditions. The critical power has been quite remarkably reduced, which will obviously enable the ultra low power all optical soliton switching. The same things have been correlated in the exponential calculations. Uh, this curve corresponds to in the absence of PD symmetry, and this one, when the PD symmetry effect is al almost 0 0.6. You may note that the X ratio shifts from negative value to, I mean, some positive value. That's a very good. Uh, role. Then we focus on the uh, length 
I mean, length of fiber coupled to, to be uh, 2 pi. So here you can uh, observe some wonderful effect. This is a conventional system and this is PT symmetric systems. You can note that severe oscillations have been completely cancelled and there exists a perfect switching. You note that the transmission efficiency is completely one and also there is a huge amplification. Look at this. Huge amplification at the output intensity of the salt impulses in core one. Obviously, this device may be a fertile source for constructing all optical logic gears as well as we can go for some solid and compression because look at this amplification. Okay. We also extended this fiber coupler to 4 5. We are, I mean, we observe almost the same dynamics with a further amplification in the output intensities. Now we focus on the type 2 PT symmetric fiber couplers. I mean, where the first wave grade is having loss and the second wave grade is, is having equal amount of gain. Look at this one. This corresponds to 5 by 2 and this corresponds to 2 pi and 4 pi. Here, there exists a multi stability which is not complete, it is always oscillating. And uh, in, as, as in the previous case, here too, it is, I mean, it's showing some perfect switching with a huge amplification, but note that the amplification lies in the output intensity of the second wave weight. Okay. Okay, these values have been tabulated. From the tabulation, we observe that in type 1 PT symmetric fiber coupler, the critical power is inversely proportional to the length of the device. Okay, now we move on to analyze the influence of quintic nonlinearity in conventional systems. Obviously, it exhibits some unwanted results. See, there are severe oscillations and it takes huge pump intensity to steer the pulse. But once again, if we include the PT symmetric effect, it dramatically cancels all the oscillations and also makes the steering to be ultra fast. I mean, here the switching has been completely occurred. Okay, these results have been plotted, I mean, plotted in gamma PC plane. From these figures, you can observe that the critical power in PT symmetric fiber couplers has been reduced by a factor of 10. Maybe in optical system, this is a wonderful effect. Okay, now we focus on the spatio temporal dynamics uh, in conventional systems. Uh, now, I mean, we are injecting the solid pulses at the input port. After the back and forth propagation, it exits at the same output. Also, it, it shows some sort of periodic transformation with the total power is conserved. But what about in PT symmetric systems? There is a new energy route. You note that we, once again we are injecting the solid pulses at the input port, but exhibits here. So it exhibits some sort of new energy route. Then also the look at this uh, power, total power. It's also get amplified, but however, unfortunately the coupling length has been increased. Here it is high, but here it has been increased. I mean this one. We also focus on the type 2 PT symmetric fiber couplers. It also exhibits the same energy route, but with the different dynamics. You can observe that, uh, I mean, here. Along the propagation di direction, the pulse get amplified, uh, as well as the coupling length has been decreased. That's something quite remarkable. So, uh, to conclude, we have identified that this phenom phenomenological PT symmetry effect uh, reduces the steering critical power with a stop shearing. We believe that this ramification such phenomenological PT symmetric fiber couplers may open up new possibilities enabling ultra low power and of course ultra fast all optical solid turn switch in the lightweight communication systems. We also believe that these PT symmetric dimers can be exploited for other potential applications such as all optical logic gates and of course solid turn compression. Thank you. Could you give the talk again, just at half the speed? <laughs> uh, what What was your original model? Uh, in fiber coupler, I mean, uh, in terms could, of theoretical model. Could you show the slide? Uh, yeah. Couple of knowledge footage equations. Okay. So tau is supposed to be time here. Um. Pardon? It tau is time? Yeah, obviously. It's a transverse coordinate. Okay, it's with a quintic... Uh, long uh, coordinate. Okay, now with quartic nonlinearity. Okay, so this is realized in optical... Obviously, in chalcogenic glasses. If you, are, if you are replacing the silica fiber with uh, salcogenic glasses, obviously you can observe in optical fibers. Okay. This can be obviously proven with the experimental setup. But it, it hasn't yet been. Hmm? Uh, is there an experiment that has realized this model? I mean, so far not. No. I mean, about the switching or the quintic nonlinearity. Uh, it has been realized. Oh. Plenty of experimental results are there. Yeah, but not with the PT. Uh, 
Any questions? Okay, well then, let's thank our speaker.